100,000 girls are pregnant in just 10 months of schools shut down, prompted by the COVID-19 pandemic last year. Some of the girls between the ages of 10 and 19 returned to school with their babies or baby bumps. Now, a survey conducted last year gives a regional breakdown of the figures. With the Ashanti region at the top, followed by the eastern and central regions. But before we look closer at the figures, listen to this report by correspondent Rafiq Salam capturing how close to 700 girls in that region return to school with children. Children account of a single night stand of 17-year-old junior high school one student that made her to drop out of school. He wasn't even my boyfriend. He forced me and that was my first time too. So... We try our best, but she did not accept it. So by now, I'm staying in my father's house, and he's taking good care of me. Everything that I need, he'll give it to me. So by now, God willing, next month, maybe either I can deliver or not by, by the grace of God. Ever since she became pregnant eight months ago, her father, has been on the heels on the man to own up the pregnancy and take full responsibility, but he wouldn't budge. Four months pregnant before I was in the school, but when I got five months pregnant, then I left the school. So I came back and I sit, I sit at home now. It's eight months now. I left school, so the boy. The boy that I had him get pregnant, he told me that he's not the one. So finally, my father accepted and he's helping me to buy everything that I will need for the hospital and the baby's things and anything, everything that we need for the pregnancy now. Another is a 17-year-old who dropped out of school at junior high school too. The first time I was in a form two and I got the pregnant. So my parents didn't have money to take care of me and I got pregnant with one man. So I didn't go to school again. The duo is part of 100 girls from Isa, Fian, Bure, and Wahoo who dropped out of school. With support from Life Again, a non-governmental organization, they are ready to be back at school, though with more responsibilities. The Upper West Region's Directorate of the Ghana Education Service pegged the number of girls who returned to school pregnant at nearly 700. Just opposing figures from the Ghana Health Service, Chief Executive Officer of Life Again, Saudotu Mohammed, kept the numbers in the region higher than the one reported by the Ghana Education Service. Last year, COVID hit us, and we saw that a lot of girls became pregnant. Um, according to statistics, we have about 110,000 girls between the ages of 10 to 19 years who became pregnant, and most of these girls dropped out of school. In the Upper West Region here, we have close to 4,000 girls. And for me, I believe this is even this is even uh, a, um, um, a reduced figure because these are figures or these are girls who have visited the facilities, health facilities, and they got recorded by the Ghana Health Service. There are lots of girls in the rural areas who are pregnant or who have given birth within this period. Joining us is the executive director of NGO Life Again, Sahadatu Mohammed. She has launched a campaign to help teenage mothers in the Upper West region get back to school or learn a trade. Uh, Madam, how are you able to reach out to these girls uh, to help them get back to school in the first place? Um, all right. Good evening. Thanks for having me. Um, so currently, um, Life Again, we've been able to support 100 teenage mothers this year. And it was because this year we were able to get onto Global Giving, which is an international platform for NGOs to raise funds. Okay. And it was through Global Giving that we were able to raise some funds to be able to reach out to this number mm. of um, teenage mothers. Mm. And how we do, we, we, we visited the communities directly. 
um, we meet up with the, the leadership of the community, so the assemblymen and then the chiefs, and so we introduce ourselves and then they then um, bring together girls within the community. Um, the, the number of girls we are looking for is like sick mothers. They bring together these teenage mothers and then we interview them, get to hear their stories, and then we select them okay. to support. And so this covers which areas in the northern region, the northern part so of the region? So currently we are based in the upper west region. And this year we've reached out to seven, seven communities in the upper west region and within um, three districts. So we're talking about the DBI district, the Fema Busia Isa districts. And in the DBI districts, we're looking at four communities which are um, Isa, Wongu, Busie, and Fien. And then we have the Wild West districts. And in the Wild West district, we reached out to two communities, um, Dorimo and Busie. So in helping so, them... Um, and then, yes, please finish that. And then we have the Wild East districts. The Wild East districts, we have two communities there as well. We went to um, Gori Pie and Maui. So in all, we reached out to um, um, seven communities in three districts this year. Okay. So in helping them get back to school, uh, what does it take um, financially and um, what, what, exactly what do you do? What do you help them with? Okay. So um, after we select these girls, the, the common practice here is um, girls, teenage mothers or pregnant girls are likely to be married or pushed into false marriages and um, by uh, so forced to marry the guys who got them pregnant. So one thing we do when we select our beneficiaries is to even ensure that that doesn't happen, ensuring that their guardians doesn't fall, don't force them into any uh, sort of marriage. Mm. So we start by signing a contract with the guardians that prohibits the guardian from pushing them into any kind of forced marriage. So first of all, saving and showing that this girl is saved from any false, uh, any um, form of forced marriage. And then from there, we mentor, we start mentoring, we mentor this girl, because most of them, when they become pregnant, the stigma from the society is a lot. And this, um, the negative backlash and all of that, it, mm. it, it kind of breaks the confidence and the spirit of this girl. So okay. we, our, men, our mentoring program, helps to uplift the confidence and the spirit of this girl okay. before we now bring in the financial support. Very well. So we, uh, we also want to go to school financially, provide them with um, school materials. Mm. Talking about um, school uniform, shoes, books, um, and then bags for them to stay in school. So we send them in school and then every year, okay. we go to support them to stay in school. So it's not a one-time support, it's to very see well. this girl throughout school. And that's uh, impressive. Thank you very much, Sada, to Mohamed for the great work you're doing in the Upper West region, uh, helping young girls, uh, teenage mothers, get back to school.